Welcome back to Tea Time, everybody. Brian Pierce here doing another interview with another X Games medalist. This time we've got Luis Forsley, who got the silver medal at the X Games in Enduro X. They call it Enduro X. We're just going to keep going with it. It's what they've done to make it sound more extreme, I guess. I don't know. So, Luis, how is your evening going? We're glad to have you on and to interview you. Tell us how it's been. Uh, it's been good. It's just, it's super hot here in Phoenix, Arizona, so I'm kind of like dealing with the heat, but it's okay. Just sweating it out, I guess. <laughs> right. So you're hanging out in Phoenix. You guys don't have daylight savings time there, is that correct? No, uh, we don't. So you just stick uh, to the hours as they are, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, which I kind of prefer, actually. It's kind of better that way. Um, I'm originally from Massachusetts, and they always like do the daylight saving time thing, and so it gets dark at like 5 o'clock at night, sometimes 4.30 in the afternoon. It's just like so frustrating. You can't do anything in the wintertime when it's like all dark and cold. So right? that's why I'm in Phoenix, actually, just because I hate the East Coast so much. <laughs> now, you grew up there. You probably spent enough time out there in the in the wilderness, so it's probably good to change it up. So do you have to wake up super early to get like road rides in and stuff like that because of the heat, or do you just change it up and go to the gym different days and stuff? He, uh, we kind of change it up, but like we're gonna start getting up really early because um, lately we've been leaving at like going out and riding at eight, but it's just gotten too hot, like way too hot to do that now. So um, tomorrow morning we're actually gonna get up at four and go after. From there, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm, yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do that, man. That's for sure. Well, uh, yeah. congratulations on your silver medal at the X Games. We think that that's pretty awesome. As uh, you know, we, your your name's been floating around a little bit. You actually got a win at round two of the Enduro Cross Series before the X Games. Does that, did that do anything for you? Kind of just you know confidence, anything like that, heading into the X Games. Yeah, it definitely did. I got. Um, I was really excited about it and just happy to pull off the win. And um, it was a confidence booster, but unfortunately, I had um, a lot of trials nationals the the like two weekends prior to the X Games. So I was doing trials only, and it was all on the East Coast. So I couldn't even like I wasn't even riding my dirt bike. It was just trials and. Um, it was just too bad because it totally got me out of my enduro cross groove. So then I came back to Arizona and only got to ride like the enduro cross track like two times before the X Games race, which was just frustrating because if you don't, I feel like if you don't ride enduro cross and train for it all the time, then you just lose it so quickly because it's so intense and like just a totally different sport on its own and you can't really. Um, I mean, other sports like help train for it, but for me, it's the best to be on the enduro cross track as much as possible. Yeah, that's a that's kind of what I'm getting. I've done a couple different interviews with a couple different people on, about kind of like X Games enduro X and all that stuff. And man, that is just what people have been saying is that there's no way to really, and if you're not specifically training for enduro cross, there's no like global way to train for it. You really have to be very pinpoint on the fact that that's what you're you know training to do. Did you have any just outlandish or crazy wild experiences while you were at the X Games? I mean, it's something no mere mortal like myself has been able to do. So I want to know, you know, how about your experience there at the X Games and if anything crazy went on? Uh, no, there wasn't anything too crazy. I feel like the first, um, I was only there Saturday and Sunday, and, like, both days I was just so nervous and just trying to, like, contain myself and my nerves, so, um, no, there wasn't anything too crazy. It was fun. I, I met, like, a lot of new people, and a lot of the Moto girls were there, so I met some of them, and that was cool, um, and I met some other good contacts, and, but, uh, nothing too crazy. Oh, that's okay, man. There's always something crazy going on in my life, so I try to make sure I have as much fun as possible. Uh, Got to always look for those angles. So trials is definitely your background. It seems like you've been doing that for a very, very long time. Uh, moving forward with that, you've gotten a lot of like championships as well in the moto trials. So tell us a little bit about your background, how you got started being in the Northeast and everything like that with your trials background. Um, my dad uh, got into trials in I think like 99 and, and in 2001 I started riding. I was like not into school, didn't do any school sports, kind of just, I was like a couch potato, didn't really want to do anything and then I got I started riding trials with my dad and I just like loved it and I had just a natural talent for it and um, my dad knew that and I knew that and so I really just wanted to, I loved it too, so I just wanted to ride as much as I possibly could so I could get um, 
I just kept setting like goals for myself and they were pretty high just to be able to compete with the guys and um, beat them and then go after the national women's champions. Um, so my dad would take me to a lot of different places to ride and uh, I would train with a bunch of different people and, and uh, travel around and do nationals and I just like kept working at it and kept getting better and then eventually I got beyond the women's class so I was just like riding with the guys and um, the NATC is, which is the national like championships. They put a new a class of my own for me, which is women's expert. But I'm the only one in that class, so that gets kind of boring. But I just try to like, compare my scores to the guys and stuff. Yeah, uh, how is that? I mean, with Cody Webb and Pat Smaje, I mean, uh, Phil Smaje, those guys are obviously you know very talented trials riders. How is that? For you to do you get to pick lines with them or do you get to pick their brains and kind of figure stuff out when you're going through all the different traps um not with them too much because we, we all start at different times and they start later than I do um so I'm not really around them too much but I love watching them ride and I think they're like absolutely amazing they're such talented riders and it's you know they're, they're cool people too so they're fun Nice. Okay, and I noticed as well that you've got, a, a, it looks like you have Life, Let It Fly Entertainment. Is that correct? Is that something that uh, that you run, that you do by yourself? Yeah, I do. About, um, it was, I think, two years ago, I, um, <laughs> two years ago, I started Life, um, which is like my trial stunt show, and it's kind of like what Jeff Aaron does, but... <laughs> my, sorry, my daughter's poking her head <laughs> in. It's going to make it easier for everybody. I've actually had a trials bike, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I liked how, how complicated you could make just about everything. There was a way that you could find just going in a complete circle without trying to dab and keep the, the forks just locked um, yeah, in one definitely. direction or the other. I, I enjoyed just the fact that you could kind of take that and just sit there and do circles, and it would go by within 10, 15 minutes, and you just had so much fun trying to stay up. Yep, definitely. I don't know. And okay. it's, it's like such a good, like, it's awesome basics and such a great starter for dirt biking, like dirt biking in general, so. Yeah. So, speaking of trials being a great, you know, key into basics of motorcycles, you've been doing actually quite a few different types of races uh, from what you've grown up doing. So, you've been doing a little bit more of the GNCCs, a little bit more of the Enduros, obviously the Enduro Crosses. How have those other races, uh, those race series been treating you? Um, I only did a few and I'm really, I'm like not that fast yet, so um, I I did alright in them, like I would podium, not in GNCCs, I didn't do that great there, but um, I really enjoyed it, so I had a lot of fun and I definitely want to continue being able to do um, National Enduros and GNCCs, but uh, like unfortunately they're on the east coast and now enduro cross is pretty much on the west coast and i can't travel back and forth because it's just like too much unless i got like a big sponsor that i could buy plane tickets and stuff and right. fly that would be easier but um but for now i kind of just have to stay on the west coast for the enduro cross because i guess enduro cross just suits my style a little better than uh flying through the woods so <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, it looked like you did Florida and Georgia this past year. So those those three those two hour GNCCs because you guys do the AM class. How does that compare to the enduros that you've done this year? Uh, they're just so intense because you like take off and you do not let up at all um, unless you're like crashing and then when you're crashing that's taking so much energy too so it's just it's like really tiring and intense and I was actually there by myself so it was difficult to kind of do everything the, the day before and get my bike worked on and just prepare everything and then go in and try to focus on like racing and fueling and it was just it, I probably shouldn't have done it by myself but I didn't have a choice at the time so uh, but I did have a good time it's like an awesome workout it's a really good experience and it's I liked it and I definitely want to be able to do more yeah for sure I'm going to be heading to Loretta Lynn's this year for the uh, for the last uh, GNTC round and I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to race. I'll be in the industry class just goofing off trying to race Jagan Wagan at the Weege and see if I can beat him. I don't I don't know yeah. if it's gonna happen, but we'll see. <laughs> you know, whatever. But I mean so moving forward, what's next? You know, is there is there any big thing that's coming up or maybe anything that's happened in the past week and a half since you've, you know, gotten your civil medal? What's what's going on? What's in the future for you? 
Um, just, uh, I'm going to finish up the Enduro Cross series. I'm pretty excited about those because I like racing Enduro Cross. So I'm excited about that. And I would like to do maybe some more GMCCs, um, in the fall time if, if, if it's like possible for me to do that. I'm also going to go home to Massachusetts uh, at the beginning of August and go on like a, I haven't seen my family for a while, so I'll go on vacation with them. And, um, what else? Just train a bunch. Like I've since the X Games, I got extremely motivated, taking a silver place. So I wasn't like thrilled about that. So now I'm like ready to tear in there real bad. So <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you got um, to man. You got to You got to keep moving forward. I know you've got it in you. Obviously, you've been pushing yourself your whole life, and it's starting to come to a really big culmination. So congratulations on doing so well. But yeah, I know you're probably wanting that gold, but it's gonna happen. I think if you keep pushing for it. Yeah, I hope so. I definitely want to, I watch the guys ride and they're just like so awesome and it looks so cool and I definitely want to be able to, you know, try to shoot towards how they ride instead of just, you know, going over the obstacles. I want to be able to speed through things and jump things. So I definitely have like a lot ahead of me, but I'm like totally pumped for it. So absolutely, well, it's, it's definitely a whole nother level and that's okay. You just got to practice and you'll be able to get there. We definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to talk to us. You got to remember, all this stuff goes on on Seat Time. The website, the URL for that website is seattime.co. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash Seat Time, and as well on Twitter, it's at Seat Time underscore CO. All the places you can find about the shenanigans and interviews and episodes like these that we go through. So thanks again, and uh, definitely we'll be talking to you soon. I know hopefully we'll be getting a gold medal. In the near future, we'll be able to talk to you about that again. Definitely another first place in Enduro Cross. I have a feeling that's going to happen. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. You have a good night, and don't worry. We'll work through any technical difficulties you ever have. <laughs> yeah, you did a good job troubleshooting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The Internet's a fun place. Keep having fun, and we'll talk to you soon, all right? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. See ya.